G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back again for another weekly free instant tournament. If you missed last week's, I did post it, but I made a big uh, editing error, so I made it unlisted. If you do want to see it, you can see it on the BridgeVid website. Anyway, let's jump in and uh, see what we can do. So, Solitaire Weekly Free, and uh, yeah, I'll try and do better this, this time. Um, I figured I wouldn't waste your time <laughs> with like an utter trash video. I also played really bad bridge, but I don't mind hosting videos where I play really poorly. But if the video is kind of nonsensical, then I don't. Uh, here we've just got 14 points, triple four one. Uh, so nothing really to bid there. Uh, but we might make game. Partner has a 10 count and uh, the... Spades are kind of almost good enough. So here, uh, this is a cool suit combination um, where I've got king, queen, 10, eight. I don't think the eight's actually that relevant, but largely we want to lead low towards the 10. And what we're actually hoping for is that West has the jack of spades. We lead up towards the king and then play the queen next. We lose to the ace of spades and then probably the jack unless it's a doubleton. Whereas if you play a low spade towards the 10 and just finesse the 10, if the finesse works, uh, you're in a relatively decent spot. So uh, we can uh, keep going here. Um, I'll just trump. The, the only thing I really want to do is draw trumps. So, okay, so spades are four one. Um, so they've still got the nine of spades. Yeah, I think the finesse still helped if I load low to the king, because I didn't see the nine of spades go. Um, yeah. Uh, they get the ace of clubs, and they get one more spade. So, um, just in case I miscounted. Ninety-six percent. So this one was just a nice reward for knowing a suit combination. So I just look at someone else's play. They let a diamond and spade to the king. Great, that wins. But if you think about how many spades you're losing, uh, we can't lead up to our spades again. Uh, so at this stage, they chose not to draw trumps. But even if they did, it doesn't really matter. The spades don't uh, fall here. So. Get back in and lead another one, but it, it's to no avail. So nice one where uh, you can do these deep finesses early if you uh, don't have the entries to play them normally. So 12 count, one heart, and I'll just pass. Um, if partner's got three card support, I'm not interested in four hearts anyway. Um... All right, so 11 opposite 12. I can double finesse diamonds. I can finesse hearts. Uh, spades is sort of my entry suit. So, okay, it looks like the both the diamonds are offside. Oh, maybe not. I They can't see this north hand. And I really can't imagine them false carding there. So maybe that was a genuine shift. Um, if that's the case, uh, I want to win and just lead the Jack of Hearts and to take that out. Because uh, if they ducked the heart here, I need an entry back in the spades. So play heart. And are the hearts all good? No. Um, yeah, I forgot about this. Hmm, I've made a mess of this. All right, how do I recover from here? 
Like uh, when West played a low diamond there, I didn't think diamond. I thought diamonds might be five one. Maybe there. I didn't think they had like queen. I'm really not sure what that that's from. Hey, Dancy, how you doing? Um. All right. So we play a club to the t king. Hope that that's on side. What do we know about points? So uh, he says the West had the Ace of Spades. The heart finesse worked. So he said the two kings there. Um, all right. Oh, check of clubs. Okay, that, that might have saved me. Um, although my entries are messed up. Okay. Whew. All right, I did not play that well. Okay. 89%. Um, so that was, that was like a train wreck of how to play a hand. Um, but managed to... I uh, get out of it. Yeah. Good bidding. Yeah. So passing the forcing no trump. Um, yeah. I, I, when I play two over one, I usually play semi forcing two, one no trump. And I just really like passing it. And I'm like, even if it's forcing, like, what do I want to play? Do I, I just like having to bid two clubs on these sorts of hand, but, uh, yeah, I can't train the robots to do what I like. So, um, don't want to show my spades. Yeah, I'm four triple three. We'll be done no trump. Okay, so if people bid one spade, they bid, get raised to probably just two spades. And two spades, you can go ace, king, and rough a diamond, which might be better. So I need to make sure I can make ample amounts of tricks. So we'll win there, and let's just knock out the spade. I guess I have to duck one. Yeah, two spades is better here for sure. Um, all right. Uh, Hmm. I could take two spades, a diamond. I could take a club finesse. Well, how many tricks would that get me? Two spades, two diamonds, three clubs, and make seven. Or I could win this king, exit the king of hearts, and hope they can't take more than one diamond. So if the person with the ace of hearts has more diamonds, then we're in trouble. All right. Um... So club finesse is 50-50. Uh, the other one is diamonds are 4-4. Four, four. I'm just fine. If diamonds are 5-3, then it's a 50-50 on who's got the ace. I think playing on hearts is better. I could... Uh, see if they... I guess I could see if the Queen of Clubs falls singleton. See if they discard anything on the spades. There's a club. Discard a heart. Yeah, this isn't promising. They sure are defending like they're, they're beating me. Oh, phew. Still going to get a bad score because two spades is better. 75%. All right. So partner bids three spades. Right. Some people passed and got a good score. Three spades can be beaten. Wow, and I actually chose right because the club finesse failed as well. Oof. All right. 
This is uh, not confident bridge, but so far successful. I'll just bid two diamonds. I was thinking of like doubling and trying to bid diamonds, but I felt like uh, with them both bidding, it didn't seem that promising. Uh, five of diamonds. We're missing the three and the two. Um, partner could have led a singleton or maybe partner's got a top of a du doubleton. But we can just play Ace of Diamonds, Diamond. Uh, if the robots cared about suit preference, I could play the 10 Diamonds here to say, return it like a higher suit for me. The robots don't care about suit preference. That was uh, more if they did, you could uh, consider doing that. And here, I'm just gonna wait for any spade tricks that we potentially get. Or maybe a club trick, because that sure looks like a singleton. I got the club. I was kind of surprised by a partner not playing a spade there. Um, but they worked out it didn't matter. Anyway, 71%. I did a whole lot of nothing there. Some people sacrificed, which uh, we got a nice defensive hand. There's nothing to say that they're making here. A couple of people didn't give their partner their rough. Some people doubled here, which like you can consider doubling. Like, I don't mind double actually. Um, Barton's got a good four spade bid. How far away is four spades on this hand? Lose a heart. A spade and a club, and you suffer a trump promo with heart heart when the spades don't break. Like four spades is like remarkably close. So I think that person is a bit unlucky. Um, but uh, yeah, here we are. Board number five, and we've got fourteen points. Pass pass to me. Uh, we'll open uh, diamond. Hey, Ski bro, how's everyone going? Okay. Uh, I got three diamond losers, two club losers, some heart losers. I want to lead towards making a clubs. I want to uh, lead towards the king of diamonds. I want to work on hearts to see if I can set those up. Um, like, can I get the opponents to lead hearts? Maybe. Like, if I play clubs first and then lead diamonds, even if it fails, it might go three rounds of diamonds and then the opponents have to open it up, which I think is relatively promising. So I'm just going to lead a club here, use my entry. Uh, yeah, well, some of my initial planning was hoping that um, the... They wouldn't put the ten of spades in. I'd win the nine and then play the queen over to the king. I don't think they're underleading their ace of diamonds here. If they had queen jack, queen jack to whatever, would they play queen then low? I don't think so. So I don't think it's a double to ace, so... Okay, club. Don't even let me rough. Okay. So we got the rest. We're down one. We still got 53%. Um, I didn't talk about like raising the two spades or not. Um, someone did pass one spade. Uh, but my thoughts here were that we still might be able to make game. I've got a nice 14 count, so that seemed like a good good bet. But it uh, goes down when they can both kings are misplaced. Aces are in the, the wrong spots for us. Okay, uh, board number six, and I got a 4 triple three fourteen. 
one club, doubles showing heart. I don't have anything more really to say. Okay. Three clubs it is. Yeah, partner's just got six points. We have four heart losers, but maybe I can trump one. We've got two spade losers. Maybe I can lead up towards the king. Um, I don't see any reason not to start by drawing trumps. Okay, there two, two. And I'm just going to start, start in on hearts. I'll just duck the first round. Uh, I want the ace on side. So my 10 can discard something. So uh, here we can play diamond to the king. We can ditch a heart, rough our diamond. And now the point is if someone wins like a double to nice a heart, uh, they have to give us a rough and discard. They could have cashed it earlier, but that was like our backup plan there. 42%, ouch. Some people do. What do people do to make it? They're roughed three times, sure. I don't mind that straight up. And then let a heart from there and West is on lead and has to return a heart. Yeah, like... Makes sense. Uh, it's probably a better play than what I did. Um, technically, it shouldn't succeed like it does, but I think it does pose more pro problems. Okay. Uh, board number seven. We've got a flat 16 count. One no. Yeah, one no, three no. We've got four clubs, three diamonds, two hearts is seven, uh, is nine. Um, so question here is, do we want to finesse the heart or not? So I'm just going to start cashing my clubs to work out what discards they make. The spade suit's wide open, but it doesn't mean that finessing the heart's wrong. So one spade discard, and also West has fewer clubs, which is kind of good news. They also uh, opted for a passive lead here, um, which sort of, mm, if they led a double in heart, like if they had just low hearts, they might have chosen that instead of just low clubs. So currently I'm quite keen to take that finesse. I think it's above 50-50. And they just discarded a heart. So they had three diamonds and two clubs. Uh, okay, so they had eight major suit cards. Their first discard was a spade. The other, they pitched a diamond at some point, but then um, a heart. So am I going to commit to finessing the heart? And if so, do I want to go all in and take a first round finesse? Catching the ace would be good if there was a singleton queen. Uh, but low towards the jack is good if West actually had 4-4 four, four in the majors. Um, I'm less convinced of the heart finesse now for some reason. I, I don't really know why. Uh, but I think I still want to give it a shot. Um, I've got doubts creeping in. Uh, but if I'm going to do it, I think I'll do it first round. So I don't think there's going to be a singleton queen. And uh, we get rewarded. Okay, three no plus two. 100%. So it's worth noting here, 
uh, often people really like making their contract and uh, you don't actually get a good score necessarily for making a contract here. So 32% just for making a contract. Doesn't mean that like, hey, I can see nine tricks, I should always go for it. Even though you, when you finesse, you might be going down. Um, so, so don't just see your contract and think, yeah, let's take it. Uh, always think, do you think the chance of that is up? Like, is the chance of the finesse better? Is it above 50%? Like if I had no information whatsoever and it was just a straight finesse, I, I wouldn't take it because maybe three nodes are a good score, maybe not. Um, but here, West is shorter in clubs. West is shorter in diamonds. That sways the odds that um, they've got uh, longer majors and more likely to have the uh, queen of hearts then. What I was trying to work out, which gave me some element of doubt, is when they pitched their heart, like what holdings would discard a heart? Uh, like if they had five hearts, they might have led one. If they had three hearts to the queen, I didn't think they were going to discard there. Um, so hard to work out whether you could, but um, I really didn't think that they would have five low hearts because I think they would prefer leading five low hearts rather than two low clubs. So I didn't mind discounting the singleton queen and going all in. Final board. And we've got 16, 17, 2, 2, 5, 4. Well, there's a really nice 17. Uh, I don't really care for the doubles and jack, but all these two suits are good. Um, I could treat this as 18, 19 balanced and open a diamond and bid two no trumps. I could show it as a big two suitor, open a diamond and bid three clubs. I could just open a no trump. Um, I'll go ahead. I'll show you how, how much I think it's worth. We'll, we'll go, go ahead. Also, I don't mind partner playing it with too low in this if partner's playing it. Better suited for them, but uh, we'll go ahead and bid three now. Two no would have been fine as well, but I'm a <laughs> never two no trumpet. I want to play it. Um, and we get a very friendly lead. Uh, well, not a bad lead. And um, we have 10 tricks. And I'm just going to leave a spade towards the jack at the end um, and see if they let my... Um, I'll actually just leave the jack of spades out of hand. I, I didn't want to commit to pitching a major just yet. Um, but I want to see if they've kept a couple of spades. They're throwing way too many spades for this to possibly work. And 68% for making a cold off game. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was rather successful. There were some cool hands towards the end. I really liked board seven. Um, I got away with some stuff in the early one. Board two. Oh, that was a an absolute mess. But uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this uh, weekly free instant tournament. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.